What's up, family? Marcus here with the Puka Minute. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. I know that I am. I'm excited to bring this episode to you. And please, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Crush that thumbs up because it helps us get noticed. We need more people to notice our brand so we can keep the community strong and make sure that we can all do Puka Trade till the end of time. Because without Puka Trade, who knows, the IRS might come after you for selling your cards on eBay. All right, guys, strap yourselves in. Let's get on with the episode. Okay, guys, I hope you're ready for a long-winded Trades of the Day segment because there are plenty of them. First, we're going to go over what we have shipped out. The first card is my Foil Seance, and then two, that's right, two Masterpiece Mana Crypts. I opened one and bought one, and I've decided to send them both out. The third, or correction, fourth card going out is a Foil Judge Mana Crypt which is a hefty sum so far, but we're not even close to done yet. We've got a Foil Etched Champion, a Goblin Sharpshooter, a Foil Ancient Grudge from Innistrad, Solemn Simplicrum, Knight of the Reliquary, Aether Flux Reservoir times two, Metalwork Colossus, two Bomat Couriers, two Camball Console of Allocation, a Hem of Turok from EMA, Toolcraft Exemplars times two, Concealed Courtyard times two, Nissa Vital Force Emblem, Chandra Touch, sorry, Torch of Defiance, that is an emblem, um, a Lanthnu Hellion, a Botanical Sanctum, a Bloomering Marsh, a Spire Bluff Canal times two, a Dovin Ban, a Sheely Ray, and two Foil expedition canopy vistas right about now you would think we're done but we kept going a russian soren solemn visitor three servant of the conduits and three aether hubs is that it no one last card for outgoing i definitely outdid my hashtag one trade a day we want to keep the community healthy and our last card was a Mythic Rare from Kaladesh, Angel of Invention. So those were all the cards going out. Now, let's talk about what is coming in. Coming in our way is a Force of Will from EMA and a Foil Mother of Ruins. You guys already know that we're getting a Champion's Helm Masterpiece and a Tarmogoy from last episode, but damn, I'm excited to get those two beautiful cards in. So, shall we talk about what we got in the mail? In the mail, we received our Aetherworks Marvel and our foil Japanese signed Domri Raid. Very, very awesome day of getting that mail. So, until next time on this segment, hopefully you guys complete your one trades a day at least. Or you can go above and beyond like myself and keep it healthy. All right, guys, let's move on. It's time to discuss what card I want to give a huge bonus for. That's right, today and today only, I will give 30% on a foil Nissa or Chandra from Kaladesh. So if you're interested in 30% bonuses, hit me up if you have either of these two cards, and we'll make this trade happen today. It's time for the pro tip of the day, and today's pro tip has derived from a recent experience I've had on Twitter. Don't be an ass. That's right. When you're trying to make a trade with somebody, don't be a freaking asshole awesome. I better do the PG version for that because I do kind of discuss companies. Um, Try to be a really nice person because if you're working a trade with somebody, it's never fun to work with somebody that's just not very nice. Recently, someone asked me a very good question. They asked me why we should give priority to other traders rather than stores when we use Puka Trade. Yes, it can be, first of all, difficult to tell who is a store and who isn't. But there are some things that you can tell. Maybe the name, or maybe in their description they discuss their store. And I'm not saying it's bad to trade with stores. I'm just saying that it's always best to give priority to a trader. Because if you're giving cards to stores, odds are they already have a lot of cards that they can give or sell to people. Why don't we try to give them directly to the people building decks? That's simply the reason why I mentioned that we should give priority to other traders. I hope that makes sense, and if you want me to elaborate, I will do so. Just comment down below. 
For the month of October, remember the hashtag SOTM, the staple of the month, is an abrupt decay foil promo. So if you want to get your hands on this card, you want to win it for free, make sure you're a subscriber. Also, we need to discuss something very important, Patreons. That's right, we finally have our Patreon page up, and I am mulling around the idea of actually having the SOTM be won by Patreons only. If this upsets you at all, please understand that we have to continue to do our daily giveaways, and in order to do that, we need support. So, if you want to become a Patreon, follow the link down below for donation possibilities. If you're a Patreon, there are plenty of perks, so it will behoove you to check out those perks. I know that there are Puka Packs, Puka Crates, all kinds of great stuff that you could get every single month if you're a Patreon. So check it out. Let me know your feelings and your thoughts. I just think that it's more beneficial and fair to those that are supporting the channel. At that magnitude, they deserve something exclusive. So it's an idea as of right now, but it might happen. In the meantime, just become a Patreon. That'd be awesome, and I'm looking forward to working with you. It's time for everyone's favorite segment of the podcast. It's the giveaway. That's right, 300 Puka points to the winner every single day. If you want to win tomorrow, make sure you comment down below so you're eligible to win. All right, the winner for today's episode is this very athletic son of a gun. Right after he finished that 17-mile run, congratulations on your big win, and now you've won 300 Puka points. Nice work. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, when trading on Puka Trade, try to give priority to other traders and not stores. Buy our Puka points to support the channel. We're selling them currently at 62 cents per 100 Puka points. Subscribers only can win our giveaways. That is right. If you entered to win our giveaway for 300 Puka points today, make sure you're a subscriber so you can legally win. When trying to win the staple of the month, make sure you have that card on your want list. Make sure you post your link on the thread of the episode and it will be the last day of the month that that episode will air. We are not working for or with Puka Trade, but we sure do love it. We are not a small community, we are a family. Thanks guys. Peace.